March 1st, around 2.30 p.m., Beachwood police respond to Chagrin Boulevard and Green Road, where an officer spots a stolen pickup truck pulling into the parking lot. The driver jumps out and runs. One officer stops his cruiser and chases him, but the suspect doubles back and jumps into the officer's unlocked running cruiser. The suspect barrels down a dead-end street taking the cruiser up an embankment. Beachwood police omitted video of officers firing shots at the cruiser, which was struck and disabled, but the driver backed up and kept going. Behind the wheel of the cruiser, the suspect is often seen driving erratically on the wrong side of the road, blowing through stop signs and red lights. The pursuit heads into Shaker Heights, where the driver stops several times pretending to surrender, but pulls off. Police are intent on catching the suspect, especially since high-powered weapons are still inside the stolen cruiser. Twenty-six-year-old Master Nathaniel Simpson appeared in court Monday, where his bond was set at one hundred thousand dollars. March 1st, around 2.30 p.m., Beachwood police respond to Chagrin Boulevard and Green Road, where an officer spots a stolen pickup truck pulling into the parking lot. The driver jumps out and runs. One officer stops his cruiser and chases him, but the suspect doubles back and jumps into the officer's unlocked running cruiser. The suspect barrels down a dead-end street taking the cruiser up an embankment. Beachwood police omitted video of officers firing shots at the cruiser, which was struck and disabled, but the driver backed up and kept going. Behind the wheel of the cruiser, the suspect is often seen driving erratically on the wrong side of the road, blowing through stop signs and red lights. The pursuit heads into Shaker Heights, where the driver stops several times pretending to surrender, but pulls off. Police are intent on catching the suspect, especially since high-powered weapons are still inside the stolen cruiser. Twenty-six-year-old Master Nathaniel Simpson appeared in court Monday, where his bond was set at one hundred thousand dollars.